Katie Elman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here in Los Angeles at the New Filmmakers Festival. Standing here with me is Brian Crew, the producer and editor of Father and Son. Can Father you, versus Son. Father versus Son, my bad. Can you tell me how you got involved in the project, Brian? Sure, I produced a movie called Dance of the Dead that was distributed by Sam Raimi's Ghost House Underground and Lionsgate that Joe Ballerini, the director, wrote. And Joe and I had a great working relationship on that film. And and when he got, we got back to LA, he sat down like, God, I, gotta, I really got to direct something now. I've gotta, the writing, I got to direct a movie. So he wrote this with Paul Wolf, his USC screenwriting instructor from 10 years ago. Uh, they got a table reading, and I was there, and they're like, you think we can do this? I'm like, we can totally do this. This is a great, fun, uh, romantic comedy. Why wouldn't we do this? And we sat down and made it happen. And do you and Joe go r way back? Yeah, we. I, I know Joe briefly from uh, film school. Back, we graduated back in '99, and um, we really bonded though on the set of Dance of the Dead. That would be about 2006. And did you have fun making this film? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a comedy. Yeah, the actors are always having a great time. So I mean, when you get to go to work every day and you get to watch people laugh and have fun and fall in love and it's Christmas. Um, um, those are all things that make you feel good. So I mean, there were so many times where the crew would just stop and laugh at what was going on, or we'd have we'd see people during the take, like, during the take to not wreck the sound. I mean, I, I was doing the behind the scenes, and there's one romantic scene, and I was watching one of our costume people like wipe tears from her eyes because she was so moved. So it's just like a lot of good feelings going on on the set. And being producer and editor, did you ever get overwhelmed or tired of it, or were you always having a great time? I think not in the making of the film. It does get a little, a little much in the aftermath when you realize the film's actually produced and edited, but you're not done. And you still have so much to do and it lasts for a long time. But I mean, you don't take on a project unless you love it. And because you have to, it's like a marriage. I will be connected to this film and doing things for this film for the rest of my life. And so you do take on the project because you love it. And thankfully, um, producing and editing, producing the film was producing the film and I wasn't editing while we were, produ while I was, we were in production. So the two jobs were, they get to be kind of separate and it allows for me to participate in the storytelling process I know as a producer well we might not use that shot so don't go don't shoot that and you can change what you're doing in the moment a lot more because you're part of the storytelling and what do you have coming up um, right now we're working on distribution for father versus son uh, Joe and I have a lot of other projects that we're talking about doing I got a little script that I'm getting ready to direct and and I have another film that I produced and edited called Golden Earrings that just came out on DVD. You can order it at goldenearringsmovie.com. And uh, that's a thriller, uh, kind of like an old Hitchcock thriller. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live. Awesome.